Turkey continues to strengthen its military capabilities on the global stage through the development of increasingly sophisticated air defense technology. One tangible demonstration of this effort is the successful firing test and latest development of the Korkat short-range air defense system. Developed by Turkey's leading defense technology company, Aselsan Korkut is a short-range air defense SRAD system designed to counter low-altitude aerial threats, such as light, aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles, and especially drones or unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, which are increasingly used in modern conflicts. This system is part of Turkey's efforts to build a fully self-sufficient air defense capability. This the successful field test of the Korkut 140 35ths demonstrated the system's successful shooting down of an FPV-type drone in a realistic dynamic firing test. This test was conducted under mobile conditions, a critical situation for the defense of fast-moving convoys and mechanized forces on the modern battlefield. This success demonstrates that Korkut is not simply a static system, but is capable of protecting troops during high mobility. The Korkut 125th SB is configured as a mobile CUAS countermanned aerial system mounted on a tactical four-wheeled vehicle platform, for example, the EG Daryalkin 4x4. This high mobility allows defense units to track troop movements on the battlefield or protect mobile convoys and ground bases. Korkut's key advancement lies in its 25mm automatic cannon, which uses Atom Smart ammunition that can be programmed to explode in mid-air near the target. This ammunition produces a cloud of fragments that increases the chance of destroying small drones with low radar cross-section. The system is equipped with an ASA radar sensor, a day-night electro-optical camera, and a laser rangefinder. All of these sensors work in integration with software that utilizes AI-based algorithms to detect and classify targets in real time, automatically tracks drone movements, and calculates firing trajectories. Precisely, Corkit does not operate alone, but can be integrated into a layered air defense architecture, such as Turkey's National Steel Dome program that includes radar systems, medium-range missile defense systems, and a centralized command unit. This integration and interoperability make the system more effective in detecting and countering complex threats, but Korkut's short-range air defense system is one of the latest innovations from the Turkish defense industry, conceived and developed by the leading military technology company, as its most prominent new variant. The Korkut 125th SB was designed to address the growing drone threat on the 21st century battlefield. Dot, to address this need, Esselson introduced the latest version of Korkut, which not only doubles its short-range air defense capabilities, but also adds more advanced and flexible anti-drone capabilities. This system, mounted on an Otakar Arma 28x8 armored vehicle, provides enhanced mobile protection, high tactical flexibility, and the ability to move alongside ground combat units. The operational unit configuration typically consists of multiple weapon system vehicles and a single command and control vehicle that coordinates overall operations. The tested variant, the Korkut 140 35ths, features two 35mm cannons capable of firing up to approximately 1,100 rounds per minute, with an effective range of approximately 4 kilometers, approximately 2.49 miles. This rapid-fire capability is crucial for engaging small, fast, and highly maneuverable targets such as FPV drones or small cruise missiles. The Korkut also uses specialized ammunition called the Atom 35 ABM and the ATOM. 35 IABM, smart ammunition that uses airburst to create a denser cloud of fragments to increase the probability of destroying targets. The IABM variant is specifically designed to target threats such as small drones and other low-tech targets. In addition, newer KORKUTS such as the Korkut 125th SB variant bring next-generation counter UAV solutions with 25mm caliber, as well as electronic soft kill capabilities and AI-based automatic detection, providing a combination of hard and soft kills to address smart and tactical. Drone Threats Korkut is not a standalone system. Turkey is building a national air defense architecture known as Steel Dome Kelik Cub, a multi-layered network that combines radar, command, control systems, and various short- and long-range weapon systems. Steel Dome Components include long-range systems such as the Cyper Long-Range Air Defense Missile, which has now been tested and entered service, as well as other systems such as the Hisara, O, GSHR, and modern laser components. This integration helps ensure that every threat, from ballistic missiles to small drones, can be countered by the appropriate system layer dot in this network. Korkut protects law-level zones frequented by small drones and latitude missiles, thus protecting ground units and tactical installations that long-range systems alone cannot reach. The use of drones in contemporary conflicts, such as Ukraine, Nagorno-Karabakh, and the Middle East, demonstrates that these threats are rapidly evolving and capable of inflicting significant damage at low cost. Therefore, 
short-range air, defenses like Corkut are now a key requirement. Four countries seeking to maintain their sovereignty and military effectiveness on the modern battlefield Corkut addresses the gap where long-range missile systems are too expensive or slow to react to small, fast threats while at the same time being more lethal than relying solely on rifles and lightweight anti-drone systems. With its improved performance and robust technological base, Corkut has great potential for use by other countries facing similar air threats. Turkey has previously displayed Corkut variants at international exhibitions such as IDEF 2025 and DSEI 2025, including a highly integrated version with advanced sensors and automated counter UAV capabilities. Global interest in Turkish defense technology, including Corkut and other components of Steel Dome, demonstrates that these innovations are not just for national defense but are also emerging as leading products in the global military export. Market. The latest test of the Korkut short-range air defense system marks a significant milestone in the Turkish military's capabilities in countering modern air threats. With its fire on the move capability, advanced ammunition technology, and integration into the national defense architecture, Korkut strengthens Turkey's ability to protect troops and infrastructure from drones and other low-speed air. Targets. This development also reflects a global trend where counter U and lower tier air defense are becoming increasingly important. Along with the development of drone technology and asymmetric attacks, Corkut is likely to continue evolving, both technologically and strategically. Amidst an increasingly complex regional and global security landscape and global security landscape, 